Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This 47-year-old man presents with a chief complaint of a sore under his tongue. The duration of the problem was... Approximately a year. The patient's response when asked who he saw and when was... A dentist about two months ago, it was a very small spot, probably the size of a match head, and he was of the opinion that it was just a saliva tube inflamed and didn't seem to think it was very serious. His oral lesion, which has recently become painful, has been present for at least one year. The pain is of low intensity and is constant. He has not received any treatment for his lesion. He has no systemic signs or symptoms. He has not been taking any medication and has no known allergies. Except for his chief complaint, he feels well. Except for the area of chief complaint, the oral exam was within normal limits. The examiner described the lesion as a large, indurated ulcer with a necrotic base. Radiographic exam substantiated his partial edentulism. No periapical lesions or other abnormalities were evident. The patient's neck was visually asymmetric. The patient was aware of a slowly enlarging left neck mass for four weeks. On palpation, a mass was located in the area of the submandibular gland. The examiner described the lesion as well circumscribed and indurated. The lesion was not freely movable and was without pain. After examination, the patient was asked additional questions. He denied skin, eye or genital lesions, vesicles or bully, injury to the area, persistent cough, hemoptysis. When asked what he smoked and how much, his response was, cigars, anywhere from nothing to five. The patient was also asked if he drank. I have. How much did he admit to drinking per day? Oh, it would vary probably from two or three shots of whiskey to possibly sometimes over the course of a day a pint. In summary, presented to you was a middle-aged man in otherwise apparent good health with a slightly painful solitary indurated ulcer in the floor of his mouth of at least one year duration. A possibly associated indurated mass was also found in his neck. Positive findings in his social history included many years of cigar smoking and alcohol intake. From the material presented, this patient's clinical diagnosis would most likely fall into which of the following categories? Neoplasm, infection, viral, bacterial, fungal, reactive lesion, traumatic, factitial, aphthous, congenital lesion. The microscopy shows the clinically ulcered area to the left and the near normal epithelium to the right. Nests and cords of epithelium are apparent deep in the submucosa. An intense chronic inflammatory cell infiltrate is apparent around the proliferative epithelium. Keratin pearls and intercellular bridges are evident with higher magnification. Nuclei are obviously hyperchromatic and pleomorphic. Combining the histopathology with the clinical information, what is the final diagnosis for this lesion? Syphilis, major aphthous ulcer, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, histoplasmosis.
You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.